So, welcome to the, to the um, third, I think it is third Chaos webinar. Today we are going to talk a bit about uh, Grimoire Lab. Grimoire Lab is one of the projects produced by Chaos. Chaos, let's go to the next slide. Chaos is a working group hosted by the Linux Foundation, devoted to produce an integrated uh, open source software for analysis of development and to produce uh, a set of metrics which are useful for analyzing the health and the situation of open source uh, software uh, projects. Today we are going to talk about uh, Grimoire Lab, which is one of the tools that we are developing uh, in respect to this goal of producing open source software for analyzing uh, software. Uh, if you want to have some more information, you can go to chaos.github.io slash Grimoire Lab, where you have the entry point for all the tools. Because as I'm going to, to show you in a moment, Grimoire Lab is in fact a set of tools that uh, can do everything from retrieving data from software repositories up to uh, producing dashboards and reports with information about how software is being developed. This is the kind of stuff that you can produce with uh, uh, Grimoire Lab. Uh, on the right, you have a dashboard. This is a, 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 a screenshot of um, openfe.bitters.io. If you want, you can go and check the real thing. And uh, there you have an actionable dashboard based on Kibana, where you can drill down and have a look at what's happening in the project from many different points of view. Uh, Grimoire Lab is capable of analyzing um, a lot of different data sources from um, uh, Git repositories or Gerrit or Godzilla or Slack or IRC or um, mailing list up to like uh, 20 or 25 and produce this kind of dashboards. And you can also produce uh, reports, which are PDF, um, uh, PDF files where you have a, a, a description of what's happening in the project from the um, software development point of view. Uh, in addition, Grimoire Lab is also a set of Python tools, which means that you can also use them from Python. You can uh, load your own code to do anything you may want. Let's go to, to have a look at the structure of Grimoire Lab. So here on the left, you have the repositories. Everything in Grimoire Lab is devoted to analyzing those, sorry, analyzing those repositories. So we start with them and we mine information from them. The idea is to have as much information as possible. Uh, ideally, all the information available in the original data source and store it into a database, which is right here. Uh, and uh, that's because once you have all the information into the database, you don't need to go again to the primary sources. So that you don't need to grab the stuff again from the original APIs or from the original archives, which usually is much more efficient. So in the end, the idea is having a copy of everything here in the database as a copy of the raw indexes. So the first path for the data that we have is extraction. Extraction is done mainly by Percival. Percival is a set of libraries uh, which um, uh, try to provide a single API for retrieving information for any of the um, data sources. Then we have Arthur, which is uh, a way of orchestrating Percival to retrieve information from a large number of repositories um, in parallel continuously. And uh, we have a processor of all that information, which is Grimoire Elk. Grimoire Elk is basically driving Arthur and Percival and storing the raw information in the database. We are using uh, Elasticsearch database. On this part, you have something which is uh, quite interesting when you need to analyze uh, software development, which is uh, identifying the many identities that developers are using. For even very simple staff, like counting how many people are participating in a project, you need to find out the different identities that developers are using and merge them. In addition, you can also profile them a bit, so like uh, for which company they are working. In some projects, they want to track that kind of information from having the statistics um, based on companies in addition of the statistics uh, based on developers. That's the stuff done by Sorting Hat, which is a tool that we have for managing identities into a MariaDB or MySQL database. That information is combined with the raw indexes to produce the enriched indexes. Enriched indexes are indexes designed 
to be uh, more uh, simple to visualize and to be uh, more simple to produce reports with them. So um, those enriched indexes are like a simple, you can think of them more as simple CSV uh, files, but stored into a database. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of fields for each um, item, and an item can be a commit, can be a ticket, can be um, a mail message, or can be a Slack um, channel. And um, that is uh, visualized by manuscripts into uh, documents, which is um, reports, as I said, PDF files and stuff like that. Or that can also be visualized with Kibitor. Kibitor is a version of Kibana. It's quite, quite similar to Kibana. And you can uh, look at it from the, from the browser. On the top, you have Modred, which is a tool devoted to the configuration of the software. So Modred is usually how you run everything together so that um, you produce a simple configuration file and from that configuration file, you define, sorry, in that configuration file, you define the data sources, you define how do you want them to be uh, dealt with, and in the end, um, Modred is capable of producing both uh, the documents and the, and the dashboards. We have a couple of tools more that are not in this diagram, and we are still integrating them uh, right now. One for managing uh, identities uh, in, our, in our web browser so that you can do um, merging of identities or identifying of identities in the browser. And uh, another one for um, dealing with the configuration of Modred, mainly the list of repositories and stuff like that. And we also have a new library for doing enrichment. Those tools have been are right now in the process of being integrated with everything. The next slides uh, deal in a bit more of detail with some of the processes. I'm going to go very quickly through them. So um, just uh, uh, repeating myself, uh, first of all, first step is retrieving information from the data sources. You have the complete list of data sources if you go to the first of our repository and you have the, the list of what is supported by Kumar Lab. And Arthur, which is orchestrating the, the data retrieval by Percival. Arthur is basically dealing with, uh, with jobs and its job is usually the retrieval of information from our repository. And jobs, jobs can be done uh, in a loop incrementally so that you can go and visit the repository once and again and get all the uh, incremental information that you uh, need. I mean, what happened in the repository since the last time I visited it. Then we have enrichment. And as I said, enrichment is basically a, combi a combination of the information in identities and the information in data structure. So you get the row indexes right here, you combine them with the information in identities and you do some messaging of the data. And you do things like, for instance, for tickets, it's important to know how long the tickets were open. So here's where you do the computing for that simple metrics, like how long a ticket has been open or uh, how long does it take to answer a message. Uh, all of that produces the enriched index which as I, as I said is basically uh, a list of all the items in the data sources with a specific metrics for them. Uh, I'm sorry but somebody is putting some noise. Maybe you can mute. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to try to go on. So then you have the exploitation architecture which is how you get to those, to those enriched indexes and you produce information for reporting or for the dashboards. And uh, this is just uh, a very simple example of how, how you can produce a dashboard with more. So as I said, what you need to do is to uh, have a description in a, in a file called Modred CFG with the um, kind of things that you want to do, including the data repositories that you want to deal with and what to do with them. And uh, assuming you have Elasticsearch and Kibita already installed, this is the way of running it. You just pip install Remote Lab, Remote Modred, which is the main uh, package, the main, the main Python package, driving everything. And then you run Modred with this configuration file that you need to produce. You have the detailed information in the Remote Lab tutorial where it explains you how to produce these files, which are the files needed for configuring Modred. Um, and that's it. So today, the idea was just to uh, introduce a Grimoire Lab. 
Um, you can try it with a single line if you have um, a, a Docker driver installed. So you can just uh, Docker run this container here with this configuration. And this is going to analyze Grimoire Lab itself. The only thing that you need is a, a GitHub token that, that you can um, uh, obtain from the GitHub um, website uh, very easily. And then you just run this. Again, you have details on the Grimoire Lab tutorial. By the way, uh, as of today, we are moving Grimoire Lab tutorial to GitHub. So have a look at it in this new uh, link if you want. And um, that's it. So as I said, uh, the idea of this is just to introduce the architecture and the main components of, um, of Grimoire Lab. And uh, during the next uh, weeks, I plan to have some more webinars on the different components. That's all on my side. So um, questions, comments, anything from your side?